hello viewers so as the title suggests uh, in this video we will learn about uh, system very low concept event so in this video we will first see the theory of a portion of the concept and then we will do a code for the better understanding of the concept so let's get started so coming to the objective of the video so we will learn here what is basically an event and we will see the waiting statements how it works and what is the difference between two waiting system that is basically one is at the rate of event and the other is wait event dot trigger so let's get started so prerequisite for this concepts are so first of all you need to know about the basic verilog and system verilog coding and also you have to know about the timing reason in a verilog so these two things are important to know this uh, to grab the concept of this uh, event so we will see in further slides what is why it is so needed so what is a event event are basically a static object handle that can be triggered okay so it's basically a object handle which doesn't have any memory and that can be triggered and the processes which want to use this event can wait for the event to be triggered so we will further see how this triggering happen and what are the waiting processes so uh, when we learn any concept so one common question come in our mind is why we need this so here also why we need event so events are basically used to synchronize uh, between uh, two or more concurrent active processes suppose there are many active processes to to synchronize them we need event suppose let me give you one analogy you are uh, seeing in front of your eyes in the keyboard just imagine that all the keys are event and they are all the active processes so whenever you want to type r in your screen what you are doing you are triggering the r by pressing the key so when you are pressing the key the r gets printed on the screen so like this if there are two or more concurrent processes so to select that process or to synchronize that process we basically need event so let us see this video of relay race everyone knows what is a relay race so what is happening here one guy is standing to take the flag and another guy is coming to give him the flag when he gets the flag he gets started so the concept of event also goes in the same way so how it works is like when the guy is standing that is basically the wait statement you can see here so what are the two wait statements one is wait and another one is at the rate so we will see oh, in the further slide what is this so and the transfer of flag is basically the triggering portion and after triggering the process which are need to be started that gets started so the golden rule of event is like waiting should start first followed by the event triggering always the waiting process should start first suppose just in the video we have seen of the relay race what happens is like the guy who was waiting if he was not waiting at that position what will happen the guy who came to give the flag he will not find anyone and he cannot give the flag so basically if the waiting does not start in the early process so the triggering if the triggering happen then the wait process cannot catch the triggering of that event so the process will not get started and the process will get blocked okay so coming to the types of triggering there are two types of triggering one is blocking triggering one is non blocking triggering so we will see this uh, in the code in the code what i will show you in the later part of the video so if you know the basics of verilog you will know what is blocking and what is non blocking so basically there are two types of triggering one is blocking triggering one is non blocking triggering and the two types of wait statement is one is wait event dot trigger and another one is at the rate event so we will now see uh, the working of this two waiting statement so what does wait event dot trigger do is wait basically waits for the address time region or the slot when it get triggered suppose consider this is the the zero time slot and as i have mentioned earlier that you have to know about and the timing regions of verilog 
so there are many timing regions so active inactive and ba which is basically non doping region and reactive there are more reasons i have written in a very in brief manner so what does wait do is wait waits for the entire time slot like anywhere in this time slot if we define wait and anywhere uh, if the event got triggered then the wait statement will catch that event triggering and the further process will get executed what we are uh, we need to get executed so what happens is the wait waits for the entire time slot so what does address do is that address waits from the time it is defined to see that the event got triggered or not so wh whenever we will define address after that only if the event got triggered then only it will catch the event triggering or else it will not able to catch the event triggering what we will do okay so it's like that everyone knows that uh, great movie of amita bachchan kaliya so there he tells that hum jaha khare hote hai line wahi se shuru hota hai so like this address also does the same whenever it gets defined from that uh, time only it will wait and after that if the event got triggered it will catch the event triggering and if it is before that it will not catch so we we will see the difference in a coding like we will do one uh, normal uh, blocking triggering and one non blocking triggering so you you will see there address will not able to catch the blocking triggering of an event but it will catch the non blocking triggering of that event in the same time slot okay so let us move towards the coding section so coming to uh, coding part let us see uh, through a code how this event works okay so first of all we need to define a module then we should write this event code word to define any event let us give a name as e okay and now we will see first the triggering process and the wait process simultaneously so let us first trigger so as uh, in the previous slides you have seen that one is uh, blocking triggering so blocking triggering symbol is this and we have to trigger our event that is e so now we will write in another initial block the wait statement so we will see both wait statement simultaneously how it's working then you will get the differences like Uh, how what is the difference between wait and that wait so first of all wait again first trigger let us give one display statement here as a process Another we will write for accurate. So instead of wait, we will write accurate of wait. Okay. So these are the both of the wait statement, and this is the triggering part. So let me write what's happening here. It's basically triggering. okay so what what will be the output is that as because this is uh, the blocking triggering and the wait statement will uh, show but the address statement will not get displayed so let us see yeah so you can see that the wait statement got executed and the address statement is not got executed as because this is blocking triggering and i i have explained in the previous slide also that uh, this address will not get executed through blocking so let us try with a non blocking triggering okay so this is the symbol for non blocking triggering yeah now you can see that address and wait both the statement got triggered as because this is a non blocking triggering and address is waiting in the from the active region and it is got triggered in the non blocking region of the timing zone okay 
so this is the difference between weight and at rate now now we will see that as i have told you earlier the golden rule of event is that the weigh statement should start first and then the event should get triggered okay so now we will see that if we wait after a delay then what will happen so suppose if i give one delay here and also one delay here okay so what we are doing is that we are waiting from later time and the event got triggered before the wait statement so what will happen here let us see that so see none of the statement got executed as because waiting was <coughs> waiting was uh, uh, done uh, after the event got triggered okay so now you we will see that what will happen if we trigger the event after waiting statement so if we get give delay here if we give one delay here then what will happen see now both the statement are getting executed so always remember the waste wait process should start first followed by the event triggering okay so these are the difference hope it is clear i will share the link of this code in the description below thank you for watching